Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Welcome back to Tag Time Tuesday. We are on number seven. And today is pretty much just a project share. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I used my tags that I made today and maybe inspire you to do the same. I was gifted these bags from Crafty Irina. Hi Irene. And I use them for all sorts of things, but the other day I watched a video over on Muriel's channel, Miss Cooper's Coop. Hi, Muriel. And she made the most adorable um, bag cards. She folded them in half and she put a pocket on the front and these really cute images um, for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to post the link below so you can head over and check out her, her bag cards. And um, I forget what she calls them, something like tag pocket bag card, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember what, what she named them. But um, as soon as I saw them, I thought, oh my gosh, I have those bags. I want to give this a try. Um, but anyway, she not only shows you her bags, but she has a tutorial on how she puts them together. So I watched it carefully and... Um, I did not have any images like like the one she used. And I really wanted to get a project done for Easter um, so I could just have it done and out of the way. So I broke out my paper pad. We are Memory Keepers Simply Spring. And there's some Easter paper here, like with little Easter eggs hanging. Um, but the colors of the papers are just so beautiful and springy so I used some of this I used my let me back it up on paper here some bunny loves you stamp and these little Easter egg borders and I have these stamps in my stash forever got these in the yard sale and just decided to start getting my stuff out and using it guys um, and then I used some of the mason jars let me see if I can find them. I fussy cut them out. Here they are. From this paper here. I think they're so cute. Um, and that's the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan paper pad. And then I also used some cheesecloth. Found this in the craft section at Walmart. I used some Prima flowers. And then I just used a mixture of flowers that I keep in this tin. Some were gifted to me from Laura Loves Lace. Hi, Laura. Um, some others were gifted to me from Lydia. She's a triple dog. Dare you? Hi, Lydia. And um, other ones I purchased. So, oh, and then there's a spray that I used from Sybil B. Hi, Sybil. So, I'm going to show you how. I'll show you my three three bags that I have finished here. And I'll tell you how I did them. But if you would like to see how these are put together, head on over to um, Muriel's channel and watch her tutorial. It's am it's amazing and she explains everything really well. Okay, so I'll just pick this one up for now. Um, I didn't have any pockets, so I actually had to create my pocket from cardstock. I stamped Some Bunny Loves You. Put some three buttons here. The yellow lace you see on the edge here and on the bottom and the little bit I have here in my tag. I got that from Lavish Laces. Um, and I only have a little bit of it left but it's adorable. I love it. So pretty and the yellow is nice and soft. I really liked it. Um, and then I have a little stick pin here and this whole like little flower arrangement with a bow. And um, I told you I had the buttons, and then this is the pocket. And then I have a little chocolate bunny stuffed in there, and little Easter eggs, and then here's the mason jars I told you about that I cut out and layered in the Easter eggs, cheesecloth, the bunny, and the, um, the mason jars. And then my tag is tucked in behind it, and it doesn't come out. Okay. And I have a little button on my tag to finish that off, and then a little Jolie's. Um, I'm pretty sure this was Jolie's. It's like a crocheted bow. 
and just some more cheesecloth behind it. And then I have this edged here. And I did spray my bags a little bit with, um, I mixed my own in these little mini mister bottles and it's alcohol ink. It's watermelon, alcohol ink, and water. And I basically just filled it up with water and then put in, you know, I don't know, something like 25 drops of the alcohol ink. And you can do as many drops as you want to get the desired color, but it just gave me a nice soft pink. I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up. And then the, oh, and the Cricut cartridge I used to cut out my chocolate bunnies and my little Easter eggs was the Stretch Your Imagination cartridge. And on the back, I don't know if you guys can see this little bunny on the Easter egg. I, I used this one. I think I made it three inches. So I was able to cut out a bunch of the Easter eggs. And then I used this bunny here and just used the shadow. Um, you know, because I just wanted a plain chocolate looking Easter bunny. And then this is the inside. So I can write my sentiment here from my card. And this is the border strip I made with uh, the scrap paper from the front. And then I just stamped on those Easter eggs. And then you have a pocket here to tuck in some goodies. So I just loved this idea, Muriel. I am so, so happy you showed the tutorial the other day. And um, they're nothing like, you know, yours have all these gorgeous images on it. But hey, I worked with what I had and I'm kind of happy with them. And I just love this spray here. Um, this was gifted to me, this little pink spray here from Lydia at I Triple Dog Dairy. So Lydia, if you could tell me where you got this, I would love to know because I just think that's so like dainty and cute um but anyway those are how those turned out and I still have two here that I haven't completed yet but as you can see I created my pocket and I tucked in my tag now my tag measures three and a half across and four inches long and then I just slid it in and glued it down to the paper and then I'll finish it off with my button and tuck in all my goodies in my pocket. And then that's this one. And then I'll, you know, finish it up with the spray and everything. But just thought I'd show you how I use my tags today. And uh, maybe give you guys a little idea on how to use yours. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll post the link below to Muriel's channel. Definitely head over and check it out because... These are so cute and fun to play with. And if you don't have these bags, I'm sure you can use any type of bag like this. This bag measures. Um, let's see, my mat's backwards here. I think it measures eight inches. Let me get my ruler for you. Um, yeah, it's eight inches long by six inches wide. So in case you wanted to know the bag measurements. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope I gave you some ideas on how to use some of your tags, and take care.